<laughs> um, so Charles Barkley is being slammed for his comments on the Breonna Taylor case. Uh, inside the NBA, probably the best like post game NBA show in the history of NBA shows. Uh, really entertaining, really popular. They do tackle social issues also. Um, and overall, they've been decent. I, I overall, overall Kenny's, Kenny's been decent. Kenny's been decent. EJ's, EJ's been good for a white EJ's guy. EJ's been great for a good for a white. Good guy. for a white guy. It's very and hard then, for, for, the, for the neutral whites. It's, it's tough. To you. you have to give a little credit. It's very it's hard tough. for the neutral whites. Um, but then you know Charles Barkley. Uh, this was his quote on Inside the NBA. He said, "It's just bad. The young lady lost her life, but we do have to take into account that her boyfriend did shoot at the cops and shot a cop." He said. Referencing that her boyfriend uh, Walker fired a warning shot after being awoken to what he thought were people breaking into his home. So, like I said, even though I'm really sorry she lost her life, I don't think we can just put this in the same situation as George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery. Um, Shaq's quote I have to agree with Charles. This one is sort of lumped in. You have to get a warrant signed, and some states do allow no knock warrants. And everyone was asking for murder charges. When you talk about murder, you have to show intent. A homicide occur- occurred, and we're sorry a homicide occur- occurred. Why can't I say occurred? When you have a warrant a signed by one. the judge, you are doing your job, and I would imagine that you would fire back. So Shaq is like a cop cop, like in different states. He's like a deputy cop cop. We're not going to give credit on that. We're not going to give all the credit on that. On what? No, Shaq is a cop cop. Yeah, I know. And that, then On Ch- paper. And then Charles Barkley has been... <laughs> same way Same way on paper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference. So, like, I just want to qualify this real quick. Um, Shaq's like a... He's an honorary cop cop. Like, like he's not like... He, he doesn't be in the field every single day. You feel me? Like, he's not in the field every single day. Shaq running down on? That's what I'm saying. So, Shaq... So, like, when Shaq is Shaq speaking on this... Sneaky. We can't give him... We can't use Shaq. <laughs> yeah, Shaq's... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> no, yeah, he, like literally, like when so when Sha- I can't give Shaq like his voice on this particular as a pr- professional in the department. He's because he's on paper, he's a cop, but he don't be in the field. No, not at all. And both were wrong. And by, both were wrong. Like, by the way, so like, him Charles these was bars like it's like, hey Shaq, I get you're a cop, but like you can't speak on behalf of the cops on this one. Because Charles was wrong because uh, there was like evidence, like evidence that came out that showed that actually like her hus- her boyfriend did not actually shoot a police officer. In the leg. Like, that didn't happen. He fired a warning shot. Yeah. And they fired several other shots in, into the into the apartment without looking, without knowing who was inside, and being at the wrong address. That's tough, man. This, it's tough, but to the to the point that we're going to get into with Shaq and, and Charles, right now, in 2020, it's for us. So, like, don't say anything that's going to align differently along the lines of what we're fighting for, because, like, like you're just going to be an outcast. Charles and Chuck. I mean, do you think they care? Do they they care? I do. I do believe they care. I do believe they care to a certain extent. But I, I just don't think that, um, like, right now we're not talking about the technicalities of one shot versus we're just talking about justice for us. Do you think? uh, Okay. I just feel like so. I, I just feel like Shaq and 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 Charles Barkley should just rock with what we're fighting for, as opposed to give comments that are are not for our mission right now. Whether the technicalities of a shot or not, like Shaq, we didn't. That's not what we're about. We're just looking for justice for Brianna right now. Like, we don't have to get into technicality. We're not lawyers. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but like, it, it just remind me of one of my students. He loves this song, um, the OJ song by Jay Z. Just like you know, I'm not black. I'm I'm OJ. Mm-hmm. Like they don't give a fuck. Like you can tell by the way they're moving. Like the comments are said because they they they're not invested in what you think you're, they're supposed to be invested in. That's they're what I'm not. saying. No, a that's what I'm saying. A thousand percent. I'm not saying like like Shaquille doesn't care about his kids or anything like that. I'm saying like they don't care. Like if he's saying like okay, if murder is with intent, if you hear a if you hear a shot, let's just say if you hear a shot and you shoot back, what is your intentions of shooting back? I mean, if I'm that gentleman in that part, I'm shooting back just to like scare off whoever's there. No. What I'm saying is, okay, so the boyfriend shoots first, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You hear that and you fire. What are you firing oh, for? As a cop? Right. Oh, that's different. You're shooting to that's kill. A, that's, that's, you're shooting yeah, to I'm kill. Shooting, shooting to because kill. that's the, first of all, that's the way you operate. Second yeah. of all, you're in a black house. So you're going to shoot to kill. Whether it's the, the, it's more than like right house, wrong house, you know it's a black house, right? Mm-hmm. Right. You know what you're there for. You know what you're there for. Even if it's the wrong house, you know what you know what you should be there for. Right. You so I feel like their intentions was to kill. So he's like he's like double wrong. Easy. Right. 
No, no. Shaq. No, they're they're both wrong, and right. they're wrong. I think both I just, of you are right, but I do think that Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley are very, very far removed, right, okay. from being in a situation, for being in that type of situation, or at least they think they are very far removed from being in that or ending up in that type of situation. Um, Charles Barkley, I, I think, has had dialogue before, like talking about like the uh, Brianna Taylor's like ex boyfriend's activities. Which has nothing to do with That's her being what I'm murdered. Saying. If you're not like it's nothing not about, at all, it's not, it's not about any of the even extra if, shit. Yeah, even if it's not about it, it, it literally just has nothing to do with the fact that she was murdered. Um, right. And then you also think about. Um, I heard this opinion on another podcast. I forgot where I heard it, but you think about like Brianna Taylor's boyfriend, who probably has like issues with Brianna's ex, who was you know considered like a violent guy in the streets. So if he's in the house and he's thinking somebody's breaking in, he doesn't know who's coming in. Right. He doesn't know in who's coming in for what. The morning for he doesn't right. know what what energy they're on. Right. right. So You're his, also at my house. So right. so his energy is I don't give a fuck who's out there. Yeah. I'm like I don't care. Like I'm gonna bust off this warning shot. I'm gonna let you know that I'm not in here for play play. I'm not in here right. for games. Right. You know what I'm saying? And as That's far as tough, like poli- and as far as like police officers, because you, you go to the wanton endangerment charge, they weren't just like shooting like to. So I guess like subdue or kill the person that's shooting at them. Them niggas was spraying all over the fucking place. Yeah. So at that point, it goes to Kashima's point of like, should you even be a police officer if that's your reaction to that? You know what I'm saying? Because like, like Brianna lost her life and it's very, very valuable. But so many other bad things could have happened that night. 100%. And they are not being held accountable for any of it. And like, even if you want to, you know, talk about intent or anything like that. There's this thing called manslaughter. If you want to talk about like them being at the wrong house, like the paperwork was wrong. All the things leading up to them being at that house was wrong. Every piece of like procedural like step or paperwork or documentation or accountability or or details was wrong after that. Mm -hmm. And nobody's being held accountable for that. And like the result of all of that being incorrect is a black woman is dead. Right. Because if you don't do your job the right way, like a police officer should, this is what happens, which is why not everybody should be a fucking cop. Fact. And which is why they should be held accountable and be in prison. It's as, it's as simple as that's, that. That's and like, if you, and if you like took money away from them having these guns that spray from here to fucking San Jose <laughs> and put some time into police officers having therapy and mental health sessions and making sure they're emotionally intelligent and like really digging deep to see what their natural reactions and cues are to people who look different than them then maybe we'd have like some well, police that's officers not what who the do police, their job that's not what the police is um that's not what they're um designed for their their role what they're doing they're right this is designed this way it's designed for that that trigger happy person who doesn't like pl- black people to be to wear a badge, whether you like it or not, and whether you disagree with it, like I can show you the stats. Like I could Google these stats right now and say, well, um, I beg to differ. You get what I'm saying? No, I feel you. I'm, I'm telling so, you like what the like the ideal. Is oh, utopian of what? Yeah, the utopia oh, yeah. of police officers <laughs> okay, who like yeah. respond to emergencies and literally make the situation better and not worse. It's ideally what we would want when we pick up the phone, 911 call. We would, we were, we're hoping that we get to the other line of another person who's, you know, going to come here and ask them what's really going on or have a good conversation and just, like, understand first before they just come in there with their hand on their gun, maybe. Yeah. You know, like, I just want to know that, like, the person I call won't pull up to me and put their hand on their gun because I'm black or just, just come up to me and just be like, hey, how are you? How can I help you? How can I assist you? Protect and serve. Surf. Yeah, like yeah. I have a friend who has a mental issue and something went really left within the past two weeks. And I couldn't call 911 to do a wellness check because I would fear that he might be killed. Yeah, because that's happened. That's real. Elijah McLean. And so that's like it, the, you can't, you know what I'm saying? We, we're not winning. No. No. Long story short. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a really really sad state of affairs. Uh, it's really unfortunate that Charles and Shaq use their platform for this. And honestly, like that's why you kind of got to give all the credit in the world to to people who are in their position who continue to you know stay down and 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 talk about the issues the way that they are without fear of 
what's going to happen to them after that. You know, you got to that's why Colin Kaepernick is going to go down in history right. for being the man that he is above the football player that he was. Right. Um, right. That's why even like a guy like LeBron, a guy right. like D Wade, a guy mm-hmm. like Carmelo, um, those guys are in a position to lose a whole lot. They can lose a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. they Sex still bags. they still use their voice to, you know, spread a message of, hey, this is fucked up and it needs to change. So, you know, Charles and Chuck, like I've I've never been the person to take political advice or information from Charles <laughs> Barkley. Never in life. And same like same thing with Shaq. Yeah. Like he has like a, like seven doctorates from the same website. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's a guy's a paper guy. He's a paper. He's <laughs> really good on paper. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Doctorate. All that, like, really good online. From doctoratedegree.com. From the University of Phoenix, actually, when he was on the Suns. University. He got them all done <laughs> in his time on the Suns. Masters.org. <laughs> Masters.org. <laughs> and he was just multitasking. And I'm not mad at it. I respect all the accolades. But also, right now, I just really believe it's a movement for us. And if you're, like, using any type of language or verbiage or opinions that are going to sway away from the ultimate mission of what we're trying to push for, then you're, you're not helping us. Listen. And you also can be just a puppet. So, and you can be the exactly so like if especially like the agenda the if the agenda oh. is for you to come and like say something left, you know what I mean? Then you say it. You say it. But then Shaq is Mr. Papa John's now too. Yeah, he's on the board. He's on the board. Yeah, Which, and you know, know we know saying? what that what that board probably looks like. Yeah, oh, but, but but Papa tokenism is a else. thing. Tokenism Absolutely. Is, so I mean, like I'm not impressed. And he's on that board. Years. He's on that board to fix Papa's problems. Like Papa's, you know, Papa's phone well, calls. Well, he, he can't. He can't. <laughs> You're not gonna keep calling this man Papa. That's that's who he is. Papa. His name is John. No, he was. Nah, his Papa. name is John. Papa. And you're calling him Papa. Papa's problems. It's alliteration. <laughs>